there is no other God who can deliver like this. Welcome again into my channel as I try to come here before the Lord and ask him to inspire my art and my songs and prayers so I can glorify him and give you a place of rest and peace where you can receive from the Lord and be filled with his spirit. I am thankful for you all. May the Lord speak to you. Today, I was inspired to start painting and drawing the fiery furnace where the three men, Shaddach, Mishach, and Abednego, were thrown in the furnace. And the king was upset with them. In Daniel 3, it says, They answered the king, saying, If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. The Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression on his face changed toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they heat the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated. Then these men were bound in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True. O king, look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spoke, saying, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came from the midst of the fire. And the satraps, administrators, governors, and the king's counselors gathered together. And they saw these men on whose bodies the fire had no power. The hair of their head was not seen, nor were their garments affected. And the smell of fire was not on them. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. And they have frustrated the king's word and yielded their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language which speaks anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made in ash heap, because there is no other God who can deliver like this. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful message that you give us. There is no other God that can deliver like this. No matter what we are going through right now in our lives, no matter what the enemy plots against us, against our families, our communities, we give it all to you, Lord. Even if we have to jump in the midst of the fire at times, we trust that you will be right there with us. Not even the smell of the fire will be on our clothes. 
We trust in you no matter what. We praise you and bless your name. Bless everybody here today. Speak to them. Empower them. Strengthen them with your joy. Give them peace in their circumstance. Even if it seems that the enemy is coming in full strength, you are strong. You are mighty. Holy. We glorify you. Fill us with your spirit. Encourage us today. 